At a time when businesses have suffered from the devastating impact of COVID-19, government through the Coastal Development Authority, CODA, is assisting traders with loans to support their trading activities. This covers petty traders, vendors of yams and tomatoes, second-hand clothes dealers, commercial driver unions, among others. The loan will be offered based on the working capital of each trader. According to the CEO of CODA, Jerry Ahmed Shaib, this forms part of plans by government to lift the traders out of poverty. The brain behind the union is basically to go down, support our, our market women, our commercial drivers, our hawkers, our fishers and petty traders. So uh, it's, it's not virtually, it's not the, the bit about only considering industry players, but it's, it's a bit about helping eradicate poverty. How do you do that? You want them to be a part of the process. Um, under President's Directive, which is the IPEP, which is the Infrastructure for Poverty Eradication Program, people can have all the big markets and then uh, shops and, 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 and what you, whatever you want to call them. But if they don't have the resources to do their trade, it means that there's nothing really going to go on for them. So we also consider the view that, listen, let's try and support them. But by supporting them, let them be the owners of the project. So by being owners of the project, they would have to contribute towards it. So just like several banks and small and micro financial institutions going down, if you are a part, if you are an owner of a program, you don't want it to go down. According to the Association of Market Women, the gesture will impact positively on their activities. They say it will also help mitigate the effect of COVID-19 on their lives. During the Corona-19 era, because one, there was a time we can't come to markets, we have to stay in our homes. There was a time, uh, some of them were, were misplaced to other places, parks and so on. If you go to a park now, at least oh, you lose all your customers. So if you are even doing business, the amount of money you spend daily will be more than what you will be spending. Also, because of the coronavirus, people thought food will short, things will get scarce. So the little money they have, they started using it to buy bulk food to keep in the house. So all that we need is not money to start business, but money to boost your business so that you can do better business. 